Hey guys, it's Michael Schwartz. I'm here with Larry Cole, who is an entrepreneur himself. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with this interview. So Larry, tell me a little bit about your business. What do you do? Okay, I have a small uh, privately owned business. I have a lawn care service. Uh, we have uh, currently um, take care of 42 customers on a weekly basis. And uh, it's myself and my son that uh, own and operate the business. So what made you start the company? And when did you start it? Uh, we started the company around 2000, uh, it was about 15 years ago, it's about 2000 is uh, when we started the company. And uh, I just, I'm a full-time firefighter and I had the free time on my off time and I decided to uh, start lawn care. It was something that Brent could help me with and uh, we built the business from there. Cool. Uh, what has been the hardest part in growing your business? Uh, the hardest part of growing your business uh, is the initial startup. You really don't have a customer base, so you have to market that on your own. And you have to determine if you're going to market it through the internet, or you're going to use a newspaper, or you're going out door to door and uh, make a face to face contact. And the other part is the uh, cash outlay that you have to purchase the equipment from the start. You've got about twelve to fifteen thousand dollars that you have to initially invest to get the business started. Okay. Um, most lawn care companies do commercial and residential work. Uh, so what customers are you targeting? Are you doing more the commercial side or the residential side? We mainly target residential. We do have a couple of commercial accounts or just small office type businesses. Uh, but residential, we can offer a more personal service since it is Brent and I are uh, the ones that are uh, involved with the company and we can give them that personal service that they're looking for for their own yard. Is there a benefit you provide your customers? Well the biggest benefit that we provide them is the personal service and with that in mind we don't run multiple crews so uh, Brent and I are always the ones that take care of their lawn and if they have an event coming up we can shift them throughout the week so we can make sure that their lawn looks its best uh, if they have any type of party or backyard barbecue or something like that going. And we also offer some other things to them if they need some bushes trimmed or uh, if they've got some tree limbs down or things of that nature, we can always make sure that we bring the, you know, we can pick that stuff up for them and clean up their yard. So how would you say you measure success? Uh, well, the successes can be measured multiple ways in business. Uh, my ways that I'm measuring is uh, 15 years ago when I, we started this business, um, we had a goal of 40 customers and we've maintained more than 40 customers throughout our 15 years of service and we also um, have upgraded our equipment and our trailers that we use and uh, the business has been profitable throughout the 15 years. Are you currently looking for ways to improve uh, the business and if so, how? Uh, I'm always looking at ways to improve it. Um, we have always discussed the ideas of maybe going to cruise, but I don't think that would improve our business. It would just increase our overhead and we would lose that personal touch that we have in everyone's yard. So the ways that we can improve it would be to uh, research some target areas for hi higher paying accounts or to uh, go to the trade shows and, and research the more efficient uh, equipment that they have on the market today. Cool. Thanks, Larry. You're welcome. In regards to my own reflections on this interview, I think one of the things that apply most to this class was when he talked about how he had to market to his customers. He mentioned how he had to uh, decide whether he wanted to do newspapers, uh, market online, or just simply go face to face. And I think obviously that's something all entrepreneurs are going to have to figure out um, how they want to market it to be successful. Uh, one of the most meaningful things I think he talked about, for me at least, was the startup costs and how he had to take on ten dollars to $15,000 of debt, essentially, to start this business. Um, but at the same time, he had a, a positive attitude and thought the future was very bright. And I think that's very important. Um, something that I have learned about myself in regards to being an entrepreneur is that I, I'm really not afraid to take risks. And I feel like I'm a good communicator. And both those go go hand in hand. Uh, we learn that entrepreneurs can't be afraid to take risks, have to act um, in the face of uncertainty. And that's something that I think I do really well. And uh, I'm excited for the future. That's pretty much all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview.